Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are still at the truck stop where we stopped at last night. And we are just about getting ready to roll. So that's come and ride with us right after the intro. <laughs> things and, and then you should be good for a while right that's usually what it 
exactly what you think, right? I mean, you will always have a few things here and there go wrong, like maybe an airline crack or you know, something can always go wrong, what, uh, wrong but uh, it doesn't mean that you're going to have some major issues, you know, things can still go wrong, but when you try and keep your, uh, uh, what they call, I think what they call it is preventative, uh, preventative maintenance, that's what I think what they call it. And if you do that, then you should have less problems uh, on the road. And that's what I try to do, you know. I mean, uh, do I catch everything? No. But uh, does my mechanic catch everything? No. They don't catch everything either, but that's okay. I mean, uh, that's why you're supposed to do a pre-trip every morning and check everything and make sure everything is good. And if you see something out of the ordinary, then get it fixed right and I see a lot of Canadian trucks that are in very good shape and, uh, that's good to see you know like a lot of drivers are keeping their trucks up to standard to my opinion at least anyways I don't know why we're talking about that but I figure that's a topic anyways so Let's get on down the road and let's have ourselves a fantastic day. Well, here we are on the back roads in Ontario. That's right. Just going over a little bit of a river. Grand River. That's what it's called. Looks like that's even frozen up there, eh? Wow, I didn't think this lake would be that frozen. Not really that cold up here in Ontario. But I guess it doesn't need to be super cold in order to freeze water. Yeah, we still have about 43 kilometers to go to our delivery place. Yeah, it's only 80 kilometers an hour speed limit up here, so it's a little bit slow going, but we'll get there. We'll get there eventually. Probably another half an hour and should be there. Maybe a little over half an hour, but yeah, I would say about quarter to ten. Manitoba time, it's about quarter to 11 or 10 to 11 or something like that, we'll probably be there. That's right. <clears throat> I can honestly say I have never ever been on this particular stretch of highway. That's right. This is all new territory for me. And you guys. But anyways, let's go make our way down to our delivery place. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we have gotten unloaded at our delivery place. Now we are making our way towards Mississauga, Ontario. That's correctamente. And that is good news. You know what? I am hungry. And you know what happens when we go to uh, Mississauga, right? That's right. It's going to happen again today if nothing uh, comes in between me uh, and getting there. Then that's going to happen. For those of you that are loyal followers, you will know what I am speaking of. Yes, and uh, we do have a uh, load offer from uh, Mississauga that is going to take us uh, home. Back to my hometown, Steinbach. So we'll go drop this empty trailer in the yard and then uh, we'll bobtail over to the customer which is very close by too and then we'll pick up our preloaded trailer and then we'll see what we'll do then. Just gonna have to stay tuned. Alrighty guys and gals, let's see if you guys will recognize this sign up here. Right here to the right it says Master Steak. That's where we're going. That's right. I'm just bobtailing right now so I can get in here with the truck no problem. I usually try and park right here in the corner. So I'm out of the way for everybody else. And let's go inside and grab us a good bite to eat. I'm hungry. I haven't had anything to eat all day long so. Let's go in and have us a bite to eat and then we'll see you guys inside. Or you can see me inside. Alrighty, here we are. Look at this. We got us a nice steak, some salad, dinner roll, and a bottle of Pepsi. And we are good to go. So let's get to eating. I'm hungry. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. 
It was just down the road from our master stick where we had to go pick up the load. Mason Boulevard East. So uh ahead. I went down there and I picked up my preloaded trailer. It was ready to go. That's right. It was ready to go. Now the challenge is going to be trying to get out of Toronto before the big rush hour starts. It is 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So we got to uh, try and get out of the uh, rush hour ASAP. So we don't put the hammer down here in right about now. Meters. Turn right on Tompkin Road. We will be uh, we'll be in uh, in a hard time. <laughs> we'll have a hard time, you know. Try and get out of Toronto. I'm just looking at my where my GPS wants me to go. Yeah, I know I need to stay in the left lane here because I want to go down to uh, Dixie Road make a left on Dixie and then right there is the 400 so or I mean not 400 401 I go down to 401 for a little bit on to 400 take that north and that turns into 69 well at one point it splits it's either uh, the 69 or it's the uh, highway 11 I'm sort of thinking I might be going highway 11 the only reason why I'm going to be doing that is because uh, in one kilometer, turn left on Dixie Road, R4. There's a big snowstorm coming through there by Duluth Lake and all that, and that will come right across them lakes there. And uh, if I go Highway 17, there's some big lakes up there, and I'm sort of thinking there might be lake uh, snow effect there uh, coming across the highway there because it's right on the lake there, that Highway 17. So I think I'm not going to take that chance. I think I'm just going to uh, go to Highway 11 and go down Highway 11. Better safe than sorry in my opinion. So uh, we're going to give that a shot. But anyways, let's get on the big road here and see how bad the traffic will be. And uh, we'll see if we'll be able to show you anything interesting here from here to wherever I stop for the night. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are done for today. That's right. We are finished. We have made it up to New Liskeard, Ontario. That's a good ways. I think that's, uh, well, probably an eight hour drive altogether we did today. I think that's not bad considering. Uh, Doing my delivery this morning, going into Toronto, dropping my trailer, going over to uh, Master Steak, having a good bite to eat, and then go over and pick up this load, <laughs> and then still drive up to here. I think we did pretty good. I think we did. We got here just after 8 o'clock. So we should be able to get going out of here tomorrow by 6.30, I think. At 7.30 Eastern time, so, uh, but yeah, so we should be able to get out of here pretty early. So, uh, I guess we're going to go to bed. And hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a comment down there below. Let me know what part you liked about today's video. And if you got any questions, hey, leave them down there below as well. I would love to, <clears throat> would love to hear from you guys. I love to see comments down there in the comment section. If you also appreciated my video, give me a big fat thumbs up. It won't hurt anybody. If you didn't like it, I guess you can leave a thumbs down. It don't matter to me either. As long as you rate it, either one, that's good with me. And if you are new to our channel, you haven't subscribed, we would love to have you hit that subscribe button. And what that will do is that will notify you whenever I upload a new video which we generally do every day, but uh, sometimes we do have special things going on. And if you are subscribed to me, you will be notified by email. And if you use an app, there's a little uh, bell button, you can click on that, and that will notify you instantly. Let's say if I do a live show or something like that, that will notify you. And uh, then you can't say that I didn't tell you, because that thing will notify you immediately. That's right. 
but other than that we had a good day fantastic day I think we sort of avoided a lot of a lot of the snow that's coming across there I don't know if we'll miss it completely from the way the radar looks like but uh, I know you're watching seven days behind my videos are seven days behind not everybody seems to understand that that I'm seven days behind but uh, look at the title it has the date in there that's when the video was recorded and that's the way it is but uh, anyways thank you guys all for watching today's show and stick around for tomorrow we got a good show coming up so we'll have a good night or good day whatever it is for you and we will be sure to see you on my channel tomorrow <laughs>